Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you why I think this Testament album, The Legacy, is actually the finest thrash metal debut of all time. And yes, I know, that means that I prefer it to Bonded by Blood by Exodus and Metallica's Kill Em All album. So I'm going to explain myself, and while I do that, I'm going to open this reissue which is uh, the Music on Vinyl reissue uh, on silver vinyl, I believe, limited to 1,500 copies. So let's do it. So first of all, it's very much worth stating that this is a completely different conversation from which thrash metal album is the most influential. Clearly, Metallica's Kill 'Em All came out in 83 and Exodus's Bonded by Blood came out in 1985. And so those two albums are just incredibly influential you know so I'm not saying that this is more influential or even more important I suppose than either of those two albums yeah in fact I'm not saying that what I am saying is that when I want to grab an album these days uh, that happens to be a debut album by a thrash band then this is going to get precedence over everything else in the thrash metal debut department and indeed in most thrash metal departments because this album is incredible so let's take a look at this reissue on the music on vinyl label um this is a really nice bit of packaging actually i really wish that more records were packaged like this basically rather than having to like cut into the into the cellophane and pull it off you know in a really awkward fashion this is literally just got something that pulls up like that like a flap why can't all vinyl records be like this, hmm? Oh yes, this is 180 grams. Let me give you a look at the sticker there before we um, put that to one side. I do keep the stickers. Do you keep the stickers on vinyls? I tend to tuck them inside the, the sleeve for posterity. I've always loved this cover. I don't know how much input the band had into it, but I think it's really cool. It's, I love the colors of it. I also love that the Testament logo was just nailed from the very first album here. You know, some it's, it's amazing how bands like Destruction and Creator and Sodom kind of all established their logos from the very start and they, they pretty much stayed exactly as they, as they started out. This new edition of the album is limited to 1,500 copies and you can see there that the number is 1051. Look at the classic lineup there of the lads. Oh yes. The classic hairstyle of uh, Louis Clement. Clement? Hmm. So what have we got in here? Okay, well first of all we have the record in a plain black sleeve, but I can already tell there's something else in there. So we do have, you know, the lovely, the lovely inner sleeve. I think the original Legacy record had the lyrics on the inner sleeve. In fact, let's find out right now. Let's confirm that. Yeah, so here's the original first press. And yes, my, my memory serves me right. The original d did have uh, the lyrics and the picture on the actual inner sleeve. So I guess, if I'm honest, I would have kind of preferred that. But I, I also suppose that maybe there's some kind of advantage to having a nice quality plain sleeve for the new record to live in. I don't know. I'm not any kind of vinyl expert in, you know, in terms of being an audiophile or anything like that. So I don't know. But at least, you know, this is still here. And it's, I suppose, it's just as fine as, um, as a sheet by itself. Something that I'm noticing when I hold the, um, the original Testament Legacy uh, side by side with the new Testament Legacy, this reissue here, is that this reissue is slightly darker. Yeah, the original album cover is just a little bit brighter, I think just a bit nicer, and maybe that's just the result of basically copying from the original. I don't know how all of that works. But yeah, this is a bit nicer, has to be said. Now let's have a look at the vinyl, because this is a coloured vinyl, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks. There we go. It feels reassuringly heavy, as, uh, you know, 180 gram vinyls tend to do. Funnily enough, it feels about 180 grams in weight. Hmm. Yes, there we go. Lovely, let's just check it's not warped. No, that looks pretty good. Uh, I think that's a nice colour. I'm a big fan of coloured vinyl. I know that, again, you know, a lot of audio files say that coloured vinyl reduces the sound quality, and they're probably right. And yeah, actually, this sleeve does have nice, um, you know, cushioning material inside there. 
very nice. So why do I love this album so much? Well, first of all, it's incredibly consistent. To be honest, I think it's more consistent than either Bonded by Blood or Kill Em All. Yeah, both of those albums have tracks that I don't like quite so much as the rest. Like um, on Bonded by Blood, for instance, there's uh, uh, Metal Command. I've never really thought that was an incredible song. It feels quite leisurely compared to the other the other tracks on the album. And on Kill 'Em All, um, there's a few tracks I've never particularly liked, like Phantom Lord, Motor Breath. I know you're probably screaming blasphemy as I say that, but nevertheless, it's true. Whereas on this album, the consistency is astonishing, especially on the first side. I mean, you've got Over the Wall, which is just wall to wall, appropriately enough, riff or armor. Uh, the Haunting. The Haunting is one of my very favorite tracks on here. Probably my second favorite track on here. I'll tell you my favorite in a minute. Uh, Burnt Offerings is another riff fest. It's just absolutely incredible. I mean, Eric Peterson really um, established his riffing style straight off the bat here. It's just an incredible piece of work in terms of riffage. And of course, Alex Skolnick was already shredding with his guitar solos. I mean, this band really did hit the ground running. Raging Waters is another example of amazing... Um, but also songwriting as well. It's quite weird that Testament really hit the ground running with not only the intensity and the riffs, but also songwriting as well. I mean, over there on side two, you've got uh, Do or Die, which is a really catchy one, and so is Alone in the Dark. They actually had catchy songs. So arguably, you know, when they started to um, bring more melody into it, they weren't really uh, compromising in terms of introducing melody. They were probably slowing down and probably becoming less intense yes but the point is they already had songwriting and melody from right from this very first album first strike is deadly possibly i think if i had to choose my least favorite track on the album it might be first strike is deadly but that's only you know in terms of it being the least brilliant track on the album but my favorite track on this whole album is uh cot lod which of course stands for curse of the legions of death Ah, I love Curse of the Legions of Death so much. You know, if I had to if I had to introduce someone to thrash metal and play them a track that sums up what thrash metal is, I might well play them Curse of the Legions of Death because it's just absolute heads down madness, isn't it? It's great. Uh, I might also play them over the wall, of course, you know, that would be another great introduction. Now, this whole album is an incredible introduction to thrash because it's not just um, heads down, see you at the finish, finishing line. It's, it's got a bit of pacing to a certain degree and it's just got, like I said, the most incredible guitar work. And so I think in terms of consistency and maturity and just flat out listenability, you know, Chuck Billy's vocals are great right from the start on this album. This is my go-to thrash metal debut. What is yours? Do you prefer Bonded by Blood or Kill 'Em All? Um, to be honest with you, I think in terms of Kill 'Em All, it might be a little bit unfair because Kill 'Em All has been around in my head and in the world, obviously, for so long that it, the effect of it may have slightly become numbed. I've been, I mean, obviously, you know, Seek and Destroy and No No Remorse are great. I mean, I love Kill 'Em All, and I especially love Bonded by Blood. So what I'm saying is, I love this personally even more than the other two albums but i still love them so is this the finest thrash metal debut of all time i'd like to hear from you get down in comments and let's talk about it marvelous thank you very much until the next video then metal <laughs>